Here's a quick video on how to use the House Curve iOS app to run a room response measurement, automatically create a correction EQ based on a target curve, and how to send the correction EQ directly to a Crestron DM-NAX 8ZSA or 4ZSA 50 amplifier. First thing you do is navigate to the device's web UI from a browser on the same network. Just enter the device's IP address and enter your credentials to log in. Once you're in, you select the Settings tab and go to the zone that you wish to calibrate. In my case, I'll be working with the SMT6T zone, so I'll click the Configure button for this zone. In this next page, you're going to make sure that the Tone Profile is set to Off, the Bass and Treble EQ settings are at zero, and Loudness and Night Mode are in the Off position. Then, expand the Output Accordion here and scroll down to the Speaker Profile area. If you're using a speaker that we have a profile for, select that speaker. In my case, I'm using our Saros SMT6T, so I'll search for and select that model. Once I have it selected, I'll hit Apply. That speaker profile is now loaded. Now for the calibration process, I'll turn this protection off. I'm going to scroll down and make sure that I have the AirPlay toggle for this zone set to the on position, ensuring it will show up as an available AirPlay endpoint on my network. From here, I'm going to scroll down to the EQ section and reset all bands, essentially zeroing out the EQ. In my case, only one band moved very slightly, but in your case, you may have several bands flattening out. Now I'm ready to open House Curve and run the calibration process. When you initially open House Curve, it will ask you to connect to an audio system to measure. To do this, you tap the AirPlay icon in the upper right corner. This opens up a window that shows the AirPlay enabled devices on your network. If you have a multi-zone streaming amp like the 8ZSA or 4ZSA50, you'll see all the zones that have AirPlay enabled. Select the correct zone. In my case, I'm selecting this SMT6T zone that I just set up. When the connection is successful, you'll see a check mark on the right hand side of the zone listing. You'll also see that the streaming volume can now be controlled by the volume controls on your mobile device. Click off the AirPlay window and you'll see House Curve is ready to measure the room response. In this case, I'll be using the onboard mic on my iPhone, but you can connect a USB measurement mic for even better results. Stand in the main listening area and hit the plus sign in the lower right corner. When you do that, you'll see the green notification saying it is listening for a test signal. You'll hear it like so. When it's done, you'll see the response captured by House Curve. You can run additional sweeps from different areas in the room and correct based on an averaging of the captured responses, but to keep this demo tight, I'll just create the correction curve from this one measurement. First thing you do when you have all the measurement data collected is save the current measurement session. To do that, I'll hit the Save button in the lower panel and I'll name mine something related to the zone name and date. Now from the lower panel, you can select the plot setup to adjust settings for target curve and other settings. I'm going to leave my settings at their defaults because I've tested them and they work really well. I'll hit done to exit the plot setup and now I'll hit the three dots in the upper right corner and select equalize. Here you'll see a correction curve superimposed over the measured response. There are a ton of fine tuning features within the equalize setup menu on the lower panel, but for the purposes of this video, I'll again just leave these at their default. Now to export the filter information directly to my 8ZSA, I will select the filter export icon on the lower panel, select export filters, select the Crestron DMNAX filter format, this will bring up a connection screen for your amp. Make sure the IP address and login credentials are entered correctly. Hit continue, select the zone you wish to send the correction curve to. For me, again, this will be the SMT6T zone. You'll see the checkbox confirmation next to the zone, and from here, you just hit upload. If you happen to be looking at the zone EQ in the web UI of the 8ZSA, you'll see the change take effect immediately. At this point, you can scroll up and re-enable speaker protection to make sure your speakers are protected at their specified power rating, which is part of the speaker profile we loaded previously. Once you go through the steps a few times, you'll see how simple and intuitive the process is. Good luck and happy tuning.